Hello, I'm Phil Baylor of Pave Tool Innovators. This week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you about hybrid pavement. Some of you may recognize this project behind me. This is the 2016 Teco Showcase project. It was filmed in 2015, and I want to do a walkthrough and show you just how well hybrid pavement performs in a freeze-thaw cycle. In this area of New England, obviously we have some extreme weather, and it's amazing how this place has held up over these past eight years. Three points I want to talk about today, and that is compaction, which includes settlement. I want to talk about joint fill, and I also want to talk about cleaning and sealing. We have an added bonus I want to talk about while doing the walkthrough. This is the only area, if I had to change anything on this project, that I would change. This area, we did obviously a stone border, and then we backed this up with concrete, reinforced with steel to meet the ICPI spec. What you'll see here, I've never been able to grow grass here, and it does. It has an advantage. I never have to string trim. <laughs> but I would love to have our hybrid edging here, have full depth topsoil, and be able to grow my grass along this edge. So people ask why hybrid pavement? One of the biggest advantages is you have no settlement. When you install it properly, use your three quarter clean stone, filter fabrics, simple compaction. You look around this entire project, eight years later, there's not one stone that I've picked up on this entire patio to re-level. And that's with minimal compaction, 178 pallets in this backyard, done in two weeks and four days. So number two advantage when it comes to hybrid pavement, and that's joint fill. You can see here off to my left, we have joint fill, that is your polymeric sand. Where this here, the moisture dissipates, we get longevity out of our joint fill. There are a couple areas here on the patio that we do have some uh, starting to fail. But again, that's pretty expected at eight years. To my right, we have just a 3 h chip stone. Being hybrid, we can mix these two systems together. This is gonna sheet the water, this allows the water to flow through. Moisture and pavers or walls do not mix. So with hybrid pavement, it dissipates that moisture quickly. We get longevity on our poly sand, and obviously with an open grade system, it's very easy, especially like with this here. I did take out my joint remover, took out some of that moss, and was able to refill in. Great opportunity. My third and final point I want to talk about is cleaning and protecting. I use the term protecting because I don't like the term sealing. Sealing, when I think of that, I think of sealing off the surface. We want a breathable protectant on all our pavers so that that moisture can dissipate and move through it. I did, I went through a thorough cleaning on our patio and I was able to use our high-end cleaner and be able to clean the entire patio off and get it back to brand new. But I need to put that protectant on and I highly recommend putting a protectant on early on. It can be even after the first year or even sooner than that. But that protectant goes on, it's not gonna allow product to get down into the pores of the pavers. It simply just keeps that surface beautiful and protects your investment for a long time. 